Hello, I'm Robert, a microcenter knowledge advisor at the Yonkers New York store. I'm also a lifelong photographer. Today I'm going to talk to you about lens attachments for the digital SLR camera, specifically the UV filter and the lens hood. Let's start with the UV filter. UV stands for ultraviolet. A UV filter passes most of the visible spectrum while blocking ultraviolet radiation. UV radiation can add a slightly blue tint to a photo. At sea level, this is barely noticeable. As you go up in altitude, the effect of UV radiation becomes more pronounced, especially in the shadows. Additionally, UV filters can cut haze in distant landscapes. There's one more thing that this piece of glass does, and that is to protect your lens. The lens is the most expensive piece of gear that you own next to your camera body. Most lenses are well made and can survive light bumps, but it is the front element of the lens that is most vulnerable and that can easily be scratched or possibly chipped. This is where a UV filter really shines. Think about the price of a lens, then think about the price of a filter. I don't know about you, but I would rather damage a $15 filter than a $300 lens. Buying a filter is easy. Every lens has the lens diameter number inscribed on it. Canon and Sony put the number on the ring that holds the front lens element in place. On some Nikon lenses, you will find the number at the bottom of the barrel. Other Nikon lenses will have the number on the ring around the front lens element. Take this number with you the next time you visit Micro Center. Let's talk about the lens hood. I've been using lens hoods since I began taking photographs. The reason is simple. I don't want extraneous light hitting the front element of my lens and creating lens flare. Lens flare will decrease the contrast in the image. This will result in a photograph with muted colors and a flat look. When light hits the front of the lens, we get images like this. Sometimes you want this for creative reasons, but many times it ruins the image you were hoping to create. The best way to avoid this is to attach a lens hood. In most cases, it will prevent light from directly striking the lens. The lens hood won't work when you point the lens directly at the sun or a light fixture. There are three types of lens hoods, standard, collapsible rubber, and tulip. They are sized the same way as filters, so when you are shopping, just have the lens diameter number with you. The standard lens hood, which usually comes either with the lens or is sold by the manufacturer, attaches like all the other lenses. The rubber lens hood stays on the lens. You pull it out when you're ready to use it, and then when you're finished, just press it back in. The lens cap then can fit on top of this. The tulip lens hood attaches to the lens the same way the other lens hoods do. The cuts in the tulip hood prevent vignetting, which occurs when the lens field of view is blocked. This usually shows up in the corners of the photo as a slight shading. I never shoot without a lens hood. Why take a chance of ruining a photo, especially if it's a once in a lifetime opportunity? There you have it. Two pieces of inexpensive gear that can help to improve your photographs. Stop by a Micro Center store and take a look at our selection of camera and lens accessories. I hope this video will improve your photography. Remember, the more you shoot, the better your photos will be.